I would just like um, one adult ticket to the museum. Just the museum? Just the museum, none of the special exhibits. It'll be $16.95. Okay. It's not too busy today, that's nice. It's really slow. Really? I'm surprised because it's so hot out. I only know it's slow because there's like tons of Dead Sea Scroll tickets left and has it sold out. Wow. When I went to see that, that was a zoo, so yep. it's slow. <laughs> when does that one end? Uh, September 3rd. Okay. Yeah. And then I think Peru is after that one. I'm so excited yeah. for that one. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Have you guys ever used that? What does it make a noise? Yes. I'm trying to see if I have any coins at the bottom of my purse just so I can use it. When I was a kid, that was the most exciting slash terrifying part of visiting the museum. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good word for it. Oh. Aha. Now they're under complete darkness. 
that he just switched out. He just switched out the scrolls and halfway through our exhibit because they couldn't be in the light that much. And every evening they get covered with a black cloth just so they don't get any light whatsoever. So, so are they trying to mimic the temperature and the humidity? I don't think so. I think what they're doing is they're trying to do something. To the humps are made up of a large bone plate and muscle to hold up their large, heavy heads. Bison like to wallow in the dirt or mud and rub themselves on trees, which helps spread soil and seeds. They graze differently than cattle. Bison prefer tender young grasses, and all of that influenced the land and plants growing on the Great Plains. Bison can tolerate extreme temperatures and go for long periods without water. This is one way that bison were a, a so, dynamic factor of the ecosystem. So, uh, Look up. What do they do? 
for a job. Um, that's exactly right. When they look in caves and in rocks for gold and other special rocks, rocks and gems and minerals. And this is what the entrance to a mine might look like. Uh, but it's the end of the mine. There's. This is only the. This is the only section that this pretend cave. <laughs> Some discovered gold in Colorado. More found silver. Most found rock, frostbite, and heartbreak. But for one modern day rock hound, these majestic mountains yielded something spectacular. A treasure unlike anything ever found in Colorado. It's a dazzling example of the beauty and riches that lie just below the surface of Colorado's Rocky Mountains, waiting to be discovered. The largest known aquamarine specimen ever found in North America. One of just a handful of large aquamarine pockets unearthed in the last century. Considered by gem experts to be one of the greatest aquamarine finds ever made. It came from the crumbling granite shoulders of Mount Antero. Hey, what's that? Doing a kid. Yeah. <laughs>